Aries, welcome to the weekly guided message. So, this is not the same as the weekly grind, okay? By the way, if you want to view the weekly grind, it's available exclusively in Patreon, which you can find the link down there below. All right, so whatever the important message that needs to be conveyed to you, that's the only thing that I'm going to be reading, okay? So, let's take a look. If there's like a message for, you know, for like finance, love, and health, and whatsoever, then I'll also be reading it. But if it's just like one um, one thing only, then so be it. Okay. Alright, this week, your energy will be affected by Dallas and Lucifer. Okay. Probably some of you are going through a um, transformation. Okay. Some of you are also going through a confusion, probably a third-party situation when it comes to your love life, marriage, or probably somebody that you're dating with. Be careful of someone who's already married that might pretend that they are still single, okay, if you're in the dating arena. Now, also that there will be some things that you will just suddenly think. You might also start overthinking, overanalyzing things, and you might also start being so paranoid over people that you're working with could be that you're living with there might be some voices that you're, you're going to start hearing in your head and you feel like you know those are the guys that's been like talking to you it's not okay so please try to discern the reality from something could be more of a like a possessive ghost or like um sorry possessed possessed ghost or like a uh, you know like a dark spirit that's been trying to disillusion you or give you some confusion over your situation all right so please be careful about that and let's take a look at your dream symbols um well i was shuffling by the way um some of you might also experience some spiritual activities, some poltergeist presence or probably demonic presences around your place, especially if you just moved into a new house. You know, there might be some unusual, you know, when there's like a room or corner in your house that is like way too hot, you know, like, like something is simmering, that energy is like really dark. Okay, so please be careful about that. You can just sage and right before you move into a new place, three days before you move, okay, make sure that you're going to be um, saging it with um, red blood. I'm oh, sorry, dragon's blood. <laughs> dragon's blood and dragon's blood sage, mugwort, and you can also use, uh, you can also burn cinnamon and basil, okay uh three days and then you can offer like fruits you may also add chocolates or sweets okay but nothing sour okay so and put it at the center of the house so keep on saging keep on you know doing some instances around the area around the house and you also have to check the the water the flow of the water if the water is very slow it means that the water that's going to be coming into that house is very slow as well you know it's gonna be a little bit dry or you have to force your you have to force the money to come in but if it's like um gushing and it's like really strong then that is going to be a very um great house for you okay your finances will be very phenomenal for the next uh, year or for the next few months okay do not move in right away in a place that you're not yet cleansing you may also use uh, dried laurel leaves and salt, okay? All right, cell phone. Somebody wants to communicate with you or talk to you. If you dream of a cell phone handset, you're talking to somebody on the phone, or you found a text message on a mobile phone, or you lost your mobile phone. If you found a handset and you're talking to somebody, somebody wants to talk to you. It's very important or there might be a very important message that will be coming to you in no time. Now, if you lost your handset, you don't know how to communicate to other people and you might lose contact to some specific people around your life. Okay, so pay attention to the dreams. 
Now, if you found the text message, there will be pay attention to the messages that you're going to be receiving, which may be scam or which may be like phishing. All right. So fire, if you dreamed of fire, fires are actually, um, it depends. Okay. If it's like a bonfire, it means that you need to eliminate your path or so, or your spirit guides are trying to eliminate you where you should be going. If it's like a fire, like a house fire, there will be a destruction and there might be a rebuild that needs to be done. So something must have gotten wrong in your path or you've done something wrong that you have to do a reset. You have to do a 360 degree and start from scratch again. And sometimes fire also signifies anger. Anger that's, that's really boiling, okay, that's about to erupt. And ocean. Ocean is more of cleansing and clearing. Sometimes you also need to wash off your emotional baggages, okay? Especially if you're swimming into it and there are a lot of like large fishes in the ocean. Oh my God, that's like a very um, auspicious dream, okay? It means that there will be a lot of opportunities and money coming your way, all right? If, if, if the water is murky or if the water is like, it's very stormy, then prepare for a big problem coming your way. All right, so... take a look mm. well some of you are really definitely dealing with a third party here um you've decided to move okay move away move on some of you, if you just recently um, separated or moved away from a relationship or probably marriage, you're only waiting for the money to come in and you're ready to make a brand new beginning, okay? Even though that this is your decision doesn't mean that you're just letting your person get off the hook, okay? You're just waiting for your brand new beginning and you are preparing for a revenge, okay? You feel like they can't just be happy while well, you are starting from scratch, okay? So be careful with whatever it is that you're planning. Always remember what um, what you throw away in the universe. It's, it might come back to you, okay? It might just boomerang. So what goes around comes back around, okay? Um, someone might also... Someone is actually doing some, yeah, someone is actually consulting probably a spell caster or doing some spells on you, okay? Some people do, doesn't really want to, you know, they don't want to hear this kind of thing or kind of stuff. Probably it scares them. Probably they feel like, ah, oh, it's impossible. But what if it happens, okay? If it doesn't resonate with you, there are millions of other areas in the world, Okay. Who might need to hear this so there is an earth sign or fire sign that's been like doing something to you okay for you to have a probably like struggles upon your brand new beginning but you know what you're being guided and protected i don't really feel like whatever it is that they're doing to you will have an effect okay you will still be the winner in fact you know what what they're doing will just elevate you even more. Look at this. Somebody is trying to hit your um, financial stability and your financial security. And I just feel like someone or these people might also want you to lose your job. But you are, get, you are going to be getting a um, either an upgrade or like a promotion. Okay? So you will be cutting off probably some infectious people or people that are very toxic around you okay and with the nine of cups here you will still be the winner so regardless of what these people <clears throat> will be doing towards you you're just trying to be patient right now you're waiting for the right time and you're waiting for the right moment you are um, being overprotective okay of yourself right now or you're barricading yourself your shield is up against yourself your body and your turf especially if you have kids okay 
uh, your home is the most important thing to you right now because you don't want your kids, you know, if you have one, you don't want your kids to be dragged down into this. Or if you don't have kids, probably it's your family members, okay? There is something that you're not really seeing at this point. Something that, that must have started like three months back or three years back, okay? Um, for those of you who also, who's also like newly single, you are going to meet somebody from the past. Okay, and this person will be communicating with you either a month from now or a year from now. Because you still have to go through all the legalities and, you know, whatever with your ex. And it seems like you're still plotting for the revenge, okay? on what to do with them. I mean, it's not something that you're going to be physically harming them. I'm not really sure what kind of revenge is that, but it seems like you are going to be vowing that they're not just going to have their own happiness or peace of harmony while you are struggling, okay? You never did anything wrong to your person, yet they don't have the right to do this to you as well, all right? That is what you're vowing right now. <sighs> Sometimes you have to... I mean, sometimes you, you're just trying to do the right thing, but you always ended up with sick and wicked and dark people. All right? So good luck to you, Aries, whatever it is that you're planning. And if you want to talk to me live in the phone, live in the calls, just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net. If you want to join my Patreon, you can just click the, the link down there below. All right? Blessings to you.